Okay. What I'd like to do is show you guys how to find the slope of the line graph to the right. All right now, there's a couple ways we can do this problem. All right, and um, what we're going to do is first we need to determine what are our coordinate points. So here is our x-axis, and here is our y-axis. So we have a point right here. So we need to determine what, from my point, my origin, 0, 0, what do I have to do to get to this point? Well, I don't have to move left or right, so my x value is 0. However, I do have to go up 2 units, so it's 0, comma 2. Then, over for this point, I have to go to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I can say this point is 7. That's the x value. And then the y value is how far down do I have to go from my origin, which is 1, 2, 3, I'm sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So since I'm going down, I'm going to make it a negative 6. All right? Now, there's two ways we can do this, ladies and gentlemen. We could use these coordinate points, or we can do what we call a slope triangle. To do a slope triangle, what you're going to do is you're going to follow the grid lines and make a right triangle, meaning it's going to have a right angle. So make a vertical and a horizontal line. To find a slope triangle, now what we can do is we can find what is the length between these two points. How far did I change from my leftmost point to my rightmost point? And it's very easy visually just to count, to count. So from here I go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that was my change in my x or y values. Which one goes left or right? x values, guys, right? That's my x-axis. So if I'm moving left or right, that's the change in my x-coordinates. All right? We could also do it like this. Take your x value, which is 7. Take your other x value, which is 0, and subtract them. So you could also say 7 <coughs> minus 0. Right? Remember, x values are on the bottom? Then I need to find the y values. So... Between these two points, how far did I travel? Now, I traveled down, but I traveled how many units? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. So therefore, I traveled eight units. However, did I travel up or I traveled down? I traveled down, right? So therefore, since I traveled down, it's going to be down eight. Please don't be rude. So the other way I could say that is now, instead of subtracting my x from each other, I could say negative 6 minus 2, which is the same thing as negative 8 over 7. Yes. All right? Now, some of you might have gotten a different answer. Some of you might have said, oh, Mr. Bogan, I got 8 over negative 7. And how would you get that answer? Well, you guys could also have done a slope triangle going up and to the left, right? You guys notice you also could have done a triangle like this. Well, if you do a triangle like this, if you go up, you went up still eight units, right? You still went up eight units, but since you went up, that would have been positive. So you guys would have had a positive eight, and then from to right to left, you still went over seven units, but it would have gone over seven units to the left. And when you travel to the left, that means you're going in the negative direction. So you would have got a negative seven. Now here comes the question. Is negative eight divided by seven the same thing as eight divided by negative seven? And yes, <coughs> they're both gonna give you a negative eight sevenths. So that is my slope for that line. Okay?